Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali As-Saleh, chaired the weekly meeting and praised the support of His Majesty the King towards the legislative authority. The council then approved a draft law on the prohibition of the development, production, stockpiling and use of chemical weapons. The Shura Council also approved a draft law ratifying the loan and guarantee agreements for the establishment of a new control center for the monitoring and controlling electricity and water networks between the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Arab Fund for Economic and Social Development. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has strongly condemned the cowardly terrorist attack that targeted a water lifting station in western Sinai in Egypt, resulting in the death and injury of several Egyptian armed forces soldiers. The ministry has expressed sincere condolences to the Egyptian government, people and families of the martyrs, wishing for a speedy recovery to all those injured. The ministry affirmed Bahrain's solidarity with Egypt in its war against terrorism and its full support for all the measures taken by the Egyptian government in confronting extremist terrorist organizations and maintaining Egypt's security stability and the safety of its citizens and residents. The ministry reiterates the firm position of the Kingdom of Bahrain in rejecting the violent crimes, extremism and terrorism in all its forms, calling for the need to unite the efforts of the international community in confronting this dangerous phenomenon. Egypt's President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi has affirmed that the treacherous terrorist operations will not undermine the determination of the country's armed forces in uprooting the roots of terrorism. He also stressed that the loyal people of Egypt respond to the call of their homeland with courage and sacrifice to protect the homeland. He offered his con sincere condolences to the people of Egypt, its armed forces and all the families of the victims and wished a speedy recovery to the injured, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect Egypt and its people. The Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities launched its latest project within the site of the Pearling Path which is inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List. The new phase is the first of four parking spots that will be within the project site, offering car parking facilities for the residents and visitors to the Pearling Path site. The construction of the remaining three parking lots is scheduled to be completed between the end of 2022 and the beginning of 2023. The parking lots are distinguished by a unique engineering design and will add new spaces in Muharraq. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority announced its participation in the Arabian Travel Market 2022 exhibition. ATM 2022 will take place at the Dubai World Trade Center, which will be held in person from the 9th until the 12th of May and will take place online a week after, from the 17th until the 18th of May. The focus will be on the future of international travel and tourism. The Bahrain Tourism Authority is participating in this international exhibition with a special pavilion that includes the national carrier Gulf Air, as well as 19 of Bahrain's leading tourism facilities, such as hotels, resorts, tour operators, aiming to establish a distinguished presence among 111 countries participating in the event. In accordance with the requirements of the current stage, the Ministry of Health has announced that starting from today, the daily COVID-19 report will be updated to include statistics for the number of active hospitalized cases and the critical cases only.